Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Melvin? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. You? I'm pretty well, thank you. How was the weekend? Today, the weekend, I completed the session one. All right, that's nice. And a few minutes ago, I start, start to the section two. You started section two already. Okay, that's nice. You're doing pretty well. Thank you. Good evening, Ana Palma. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. All right, excellent. How was the weekend? My weekend was, was cool. Okay, what did you do? So, um, I was a... Uh, I, I went to the supermarket. I okay. I cleaned my my room. Oh, you did. I have. I cleaned my my room. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's on the on the Saturday. On the Sunday, I was to the short, and I have a I had a great a great lunch with my family. Excellent, sounds fun. Yes. Have you been working on the platform too, Anna? No, for the moment, not. <laughs> Okay, what section are you in? I complete all sections. Okay. How are you, Gloria? Good night, teacher. Fine, and you? Pretty well, thank you. How was the weekend? Uh, my weekend is good. Okay. That's very good. I'm glad to hear it. Um, did you have any time to work in the platform? Um, no, teacher. You didn't. What section are you in? Um, one. Section one still, okay? All right, that's fine. Just remember to continue working this week because, um, well, by the end of this week, we should be in section three. So please keep on working. Okay, teacher. Good evening, Maria del Rosario. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, and you? I'm very good, I'm very hard in my work. Oh, it was a hard day. Yes. Well, that's so bad. Thank God it's almost over. <laughs> right. <laughs> How was the weekend? Um, very good. I stay in my house. I clean the house. Wash um, the clothes. Um, Just doing chores. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And the platform, have you been working on it? Yes, I work in the platform. And I am in the uh, section, section two, two, six point six. 
All right, mm. excellent. Go. Great. So let me see, Jose Angel, how are you? Bye, teacher. Thanks. How was the weekend? Very good. Okay, nice. Did you have any time to work in the platform? Yes, I, I was working okay. right now. All right. What section are you in? Uh, section one and section two. Okay, that's good. Continue working. Thanks. Mauricio Stanley, how are you? Hello, good night, Miss Lily. How's it going? I'm fine. Excellent. How was the weekend? Uh, I am working the weekend. Oh, you had to work. Okay. And how about the platform, Mauricio? Have you been working okay. on it? Uh, section one, Miss. You're still in section one. Okay. That's fine. Just remember to continue working this week, okay? Thank you. Denis Castro, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good night. How's it going? Nothing, teacher. Okay. Uh, how how was your day? Sorry, repeat, please. How was your day? It's very fine. All right. It's, uh, it's a uh, uh, fairly tired. Oh, it was tired. Okay. So you had to work. Sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, you had to work. Yes, yes. Please. All right. And tell me about the platform. Have you been working on it? Yes, section one complete. All right, you completed it. That's nice. Continue working. Thank you, teacher. All right. Fabricio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thanks. Great. How was the weekend? Uh, uh, That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you do anything special or just stay home? Uh, I stay home okay. every day. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that's nice. And tell me about the platform. And you need one teacher. You're in section one. Okay. All right. That's nice. Okay, so I think we may start with our class. So let me get my presentation. And we're going to start by talking about our weekend. So I know I already asked some people, but let me um, just send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes for you to share um, the things that you did on the weekend. So please just try to be detailed, right? Just try to think about all the things you did, even if you stayed home. Just, I mean, did you watch TV? Did you clean the house? Did you wash your clothes? Or, I mean, just tell us about what you did. Um, so let me send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes for you to share your answers to this question. Is that okay? Okay. All right, so there you go. Just talk about your weekend.
Hello, Gloria. And Daisy Racinos. Hello. Good evening. Oh, okay, está, teacher. Teacher, uh, yes. can, can you explain uh, what we to do? <laughs> yes, you have to talk a little bit about your weekend, about the things you did. Okay. Uh, teacher, eh, podemos responder, por ejemplo, en mi caso. I is sleeping and cleaning the house. Just remember that you have to use the past. I slept. I cleaned my house. Okay. What is the question? The question, what did you do on the weekend or what did you do last weekend? Last weekend. What did you do? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Gloria, what did you do in the weekend? Uh, my weekend uh, mm -hmm. sleep. Um, the car. Um, Car wash. Okay. Ahora tú, Melvin. A ver, eh, what did you what did you do last weekend? Oh, I went to the supermarket and, and <laughs> relax it, huh? <laughs> no more. No. Okay, and Daisy, what did what did you do last weekend? Um, in my my weekend is my favorite uh, my favorite day. Um, I work in my garden is favorite hobby or pasatiempo. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I like you um, arreglar el jardín. Teacher, ¿cómo pudiéramos decirlo ahí? I like to to garden, to fix my garden, just work on my garden. Mm -hmm. My car, okay. I think uh, we have to use in the past. And in that case, you can say it in the present because you're talking about something you like. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Atención a salud, recreación, seguro de vida. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine too, teacher. What did you do last weekend, teacher? What did I do? Well, on Saturday, I visited my grandma. And let's see, we went to the park too. There's a, a little new park over here in where I live. So um, they also decorated it with, you know, um, Christmas decoration and stuff. So it was Christmas nice, we went great. there. Yep. And on Sunday, I visited um, some of my relatives too. So I went to my uncle's house. That was it. Okay. How was your weekend, Carlos? Uh, my weekend, on Saturday, I was watching TV. And in Sunday, I was resting every day, all the day. Okay. 
That's nice. You had some time to rest. Yes. I need it, teacher. I can I was imagine needed. it. Yeah, right. So what do you do, Carlos? Um, I am work in Embotelladora La Cascada. Oh, okay. Interesting. And you, teacher? Well, I teach in these courses and I also have another job in the mornings. I teach children. Oh, okay. Yep. Excellent teacher. Yeah. Okay, so Emma says she's having trouble with the internet. So yeah, maybe just continue practicing with Maria da Pasaria. Okay, teacher. All right, I'm leaving right now. See you in a moment. Okay. I cook pasta with my sister-in-law and I play with my friend. I watch TV with my family. Only that. Okay, thanks. Okay, so we already had some time to talk about our weekends. And now we're going to just talk a little about the WH questions in the simple past. So let's start by reviewing the question words, the WH question words. And well, let me remind you that we have what, which is to ask about things. We also have where. That one is for asking about places. When is for asking about time. Who is for asking about people. Why is for asking about reason. And how is for asking about manner or the way we do something or the way something is. And we use it together with other words in expressions like how old, how much, how many, how long. And then how to make WH questions in the simple past? Well, all we need is first the WH word, either what, why, when, where, or how. Then we add the auxiliary did. And after that, we need a subject. Then um, we need the verb. The verb is always in the in the present, right? Because we are already using an auxiliary, did. Therefore, we only need a verb in the base form. Then we got a complement and a question mark. Here I have an example. It says, what did you buy at the mall? What did you buy at the mall? What can we answer to that question? Anybody? I, I, I bought a lavadora. <laughs> no sé cómo se lavadora. I bought a washing machine. Washing machine, okay. Okay, very good. Last weekend. Yeah, in the Black Weekend, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Who did you visit last night? I visited to my family on the last night. I visited my family last night. 
Excellent. And another example would be, when did you go to the supermarket? Last week, weekend. Okay, so you say, I, I went to, I the, went, I went to the, the supermarket last weekend. All right, can you give me some other examples of WH questions in the simple past? Any other questions that we could make using what, when, who, where, how? Who, who? Where did you live in 2016? Very good. Any other example? Any other Who example? did you visit last month? Who did you visit last month? Okay. Any other? No Where more. Where do you go? Where did you go? Okay. All right. So now um, let's talk a little bit about the questions using what was and where. So in those cases, again, we start with the WH word, then we need was or were, then the subject, and then the complement. So notice that we only need the verb was or were. We do not use an auxiliary. Over here, we use um, two different verbs, right? We use did as an auxiliary, and we also use another verb in the base form. But in the case of the questions with was and were, we do not need another verb. And we get questions like, where were you born? What can we answer to that? I was born in El Salvador. I was born in El Salvador. And another example would be, how old were you in 1995? What can we answer? What could be the answer to this question? Uh, I, I, I was, was yes, I, I was, yes, I was uh, 25. <laughs> years old. <laughs> okay, I was 25 years old. All right, very good. So let's see, let me hear your own answers. Answer with the right information. So let's see, Maria del Rosario, where were you born? I was I born in El Salvador. I was born in El Salvador. Okay, and uh, what is the exact place where you were born? I was born in San Salvador. All right, very good. Carlos René, where were you born? I was born in Ataco. All right, Doris, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. All right, Melvin, where were you born? I was born in La Unión. Okay. Ana Palma, where were you born? I was born in Astoria, in the apartment La Paz. Okay. Jose Angel, where were you born? I was born in Rosario de Mora. Okay. Interesting. Fabricio, how old were you in 1995? 95. 
I was uh, 25 years old. 25 years old, okay. Isaac Molina, how old were you in 1995? Excuse me, miss, repeat please. How old were you in 1995? Uh, I was this a study. Um, again, how old were you in 1995? ¿Cuántos años tenía en oh. el 95? I was mm, 13 years old. 13 years old, okay. Dennis Castro, how old were you in 1995? I was 10 years old. 10 years old, okay. Mauricio Stanley, how old were you in 1995? I was three years old. Okay. Brenda Calderon, how old were you in 1995? I was 10 years old. 10 years old. And Gloria, how about you? How old were you in 1995? I was 12 years old. Okay. Emma, you say you're having trouble with your microphone. Okay. Don't worry, and you were two years old. All right. Okay, so let's continue with this exercise. We're going to answer the questions. Oh, let me just erase the page. Okay, so here we have some different questions and let me send you to the breakout rooms for some more minutes. And you have to ask and answer the questions. Okay, let me send you a picture to the WhatsApp chat for you to have the questions and then you ask and answer, okay? Okay. All right, so there you go. Me? Jess, what did you do today? What did you do today? Uh, I was very tired. I was very tired. Okay. No job. What did you see yesterday, Emma? Um, oh, I... excuse me. Who did you see yesterday? Who did uh, I saw my grandma? Okay, excellent. What did you do last weekend, Maria? Oh, I did. I stay in my house. I did clean the house. I was 
in the house. Where did you last weekend, Emma? Um, I watch TV and visit my family. Okay. How much did your shoes cost, Maria? I was the I was by the pair of shop of shop is shop very shoes and fourteen fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. Okay. Where did you go to school? Emma? Um ya no voy a la escuela. No. I don't. Where did you go to school? ¿Dónde fuiste? ¿O a qué escuela ah, fuiste? Ah, okay, okay, okay. I at um what did you do last weekend? Ana. The last weekend I went to the supermarket. <laughs> I cleaned the house, I went to the church, I, on the Sunday, uh, I had a couch potato for about two hours during the day. Yes, at all. Okay, what did you do last weekend then? I went to the uh, Chantropa with my family. Me salté una. <laughs> Who did you say yesterday? Me salté esa. <laughs> Who did you see yesterday, Isaac? Entonces en esta de acá sería igual. A work le agrega la ed para que quitar el id. Uh -huh. yeah. Porque se lo ocupa como auxiliar para formular la pregunta en pasado. Está transparente. Pero aquí sería at from, ¿no? ¿Verdad? No. Sí. ¿Qué es lo que hiciste la semana pasada? Eh, como el pasado, fin de semana. What did you do last weekend, la semana pasada? ¿Qué hiciste la semana pasada? <risa> el fin de semana pasado. Last weekend. El fin de semana pasado. Last weekend. Yeah. I went to the church. I went to, to the church. The church. church. I went to the church. Mm -hmm. ¿Y where did you go last weekend? ¿A dónde fuiste? ¿O dónde...? Sí, ¿Dónde fuiste? Ajá. ¿Dónde fuiste? La semana, el fin de semana pasó. Como más la respuesta de ahí, bueno. Sí, la, la, ajá, ¿verdad que sí? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Y aquí sería... 
I play play this. Oops. Play the civil one. Soccer. With my friends. Por decir así, estaría bien, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Qué es lo que hiciste? Mm -hmm. Dice, how much did your... ¿Cuánto te costó? O cuánto... Sí, ¿cuánto te costaron? ¿Cuánto te costaron? My, my shoes. No. Mm -hmm. no Yo creo que... ¿Te gusta? ¿Te compras? Uh, going to the supermarket to to oh no sé oh, si puede oh. ser allí este Daisy I went to the shopping I went Which, to the shopping yes it's correct okay very good thank you Melvin thank eh, you Gloria okay Melvin ahora te pregunto a ti porque no te hemos preguntado okay eh, Where did you go last weekend? Uh, I I went to the supermarket to bought a machine wash machine in Black Friday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Vamos a la siguiente. Uh, How much do you choose cost? And uh, Gloria. Puede negar la pregunta también. I didn't. Okay. Um, wow. Well, este, veamos. ¿Cuánto, cuánto me costó? Okay. Um, Eh, veamos, puedo decir lo siguiente. Ok. Um, your, eh, it cost me um, 11 dólares. Wow. <ríe> Las de muñecas. <ríe> okay. Ok, uh, Daisy. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, ahora tiene. A, a Daisy, digamos, Daisy, how much do your shoes cost? My shoes cost 45. <laughs> ok. No eran de muñeca. <laughs> Ay, no. My shoes 45. Cost. 45. Okay. Yeah. How much do you do you to score? Okay. Lo escuché medio entrecortado, pero entiendo que la pregunta. Okay, I didn't I didn't buy a a shoes. <laughs> Okay, see. Sí. Next. Okay, where where did you go to school? Where did you go to a school? Uh, Gloria. Okay, um I went to uh, the Itexal. Okay. I went to the school Itexal. Okay, ahora pregunto a ti, Melvin. Where sí, sí. did you go to a school? Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Cocina, ¿cómo se llama? Sí, sí. Ah, bacon. ¿Qué se le está diciendo? Bacon. Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. And cheese, uh -huh. así verdad. Uh -huh. 
Con F. ¿Perdón? Con F. Chis. Egg, bacon, and cheese for my dinner. Voy a ponerlo para hacerla como más completa. Vaya, quedaría what do you, what do you do last Christmas? ¿Qué es lo que hice? Uh -huh. en, la, en, la, en, la, en, pasada, en la pasada Navidad. Did, uh, ¿Cuál es el, el pasado de comer o beber? ¿Qué ponemos? ¿Cómo? ¿Comimos o bebimos? No, para poner comimos. Ey. Pero el pasado sería Ate. Ate. Ate, Me escribe ¿no? Ate. Uh -huh. Así. Ey. Uh -huh. Porque el presente es, se escribe eat, de eat. Eat, ajá. ajá. El pasado es eat. Pero para A lot of grapes. <laughs> A lot of <laughs> grapes. A lot of Lot. A lot. Great. Great. The Uber. Sí. Great. Ah, great. Ah, great. Sin Ajá. doble P, solamente lleva una. Perdón. Y ese. Great. Uh -huh. Ah, Uber. Uh -huh. Great. And Silva. Sí, de la semana. No. <ríe> Guay. Bien. Guay. Guay. Sí, ¿verdad? A los pocos. O, o vino de uvas. No. <ríe> Guay, no. Entonces Pray. tendría que ser drunk. No. Drunk. No, ajá. Si era lo del vino, ¿ve? Sí, ajá, eh. para poner pero las dos cosas. Pues, no. Como supuestamente se, se brinda con uvas. Ah, vaya. Y champaña. <ríe> se supone. Ya no van a ir. Okay, so welcome back. Let's see, now we're going to, well, before we get to the next activity, just let me ask you, do you have any questions, any doubts? Are we all right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So now we're going to practice with this exercise. Here we have some sentences. For example, they wanted to see Fiona. And now we must make a question that asks us for this information, the one that is highlighted. So what would be the WH question for asking about this information, Fiona? What can we ask? Okay. Well, sorry? They want to see. Where? Who, who did they want to see? Okay. Yes. So you say they wanted to see Fiona, right? Who did they want to see? Fiona. Okay. Next okay. one. I got up at seven o'clock. What's the question? Did you get up? Sí. What time did you get up? Mm. 
Okay, we got, she paid $10. She paid. What did you, okay. How much did she pay? Uh, how much? How much did she pay? Ten dollars, right? Okay, next. The meeting finished late. Any ideas about the question? When the meeting finished? When did the meeting finish? Or you could also say what time did the meeting finish? Okay. In number five, we have I ate an apple pie. What did you what did you eat? All right, next one is I played tennis last week. What did you do last week? What did you do? Okay, what did you do last week? Oh, sorry, in this one, we need to ask for last week. So we need to change it. The answer should be last week. So how do we make that question? Any ideas? When did you play tennis? Exactly, that's what we say. When did you play tennis? And the answer would be last week. Okay, the next one. They grow to Ellen. Oh, that wants to be capital. What did they write? Who? Who? Mm -hmm. Who? Who they? Who they were? Who they? Who they died? Who they? Right. 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 Yes. Okay, next one. Um, the class was very interesting. How was? How did? How, how was? Sorry. How, how was did? The class. The class. In this one, we do not need did because we're using was. How was the class? The class was very interesting. Okay, then we got, I was late because I had an accident. Hmm. Why, 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 why did you, did you, did you, are you sure? No, what was, why was you late? What? Where, right? Where, Where are you? Where? Wait, why were you late? I was late why because I had late? an accident. And the last one says the kids were at the candy store. Where were where, where the kids? Where, 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 where the kids? Where were the kids at the candy store? Okay, so we are going to continue by um, well studying a new topic. So here we are going to build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negative and short answers with used to. 
And we're also going to learn English phrases like I used to be very messy when I was a kid, but now I'm very neat. And I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day. An oral English comprehension exercise is also included in this lesson. So let me go to the platform. We are going to watch the video and I need you to pay attention to the explanation, okay? Hi everyone. With this class, you'll be able to make questions using used to. We'll practice making yes and no questions and WH questions. For example, you'll be able to make questions such as, what sports did you use to play when you were a child? Did you use to collect anything when you were a child? What kind of things did you use to do for fun when you were a kid? As I mentioned previously, what we're going to do in this class is we're going to learn how to form questions using used to. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating yes and no questions. That's the one that I'm circling there that you use to collect things. That's a yes and no question. And then the way to answer that, yes, I used to collect comic books, or no, I didn't use to collect anything. And also we're going to learn how to create those WH questions with used to. Let me start by presenting the structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of the two questions that are here. As you can see, the first question is a yes or no question. And the second question, what sports did you use to play? That's an information question. That means that we have a WH word. So let's try to make sense of the first one first. Um, the um, yes or no questions don't have a WH word and therefore start with did. So did you used to, and it follows the verb in the present, collect things. Did is the auxiliary that we're going to use, and then that follows the subject. In this case, it happens to be you. That is going to follow used to. If you notice, used to is not in the past. It's in the present. And then it's going to follow the verb in, in its present tense. And then finally, we'll have some sort of complement. And how do we answer this type of questions? Well, we can either have a positive response such as, yes, I used to collect comic books. Or no, I didn't use to collect anything, but now I collect art. So let me try to give a couple of more examples, and we're going to continue to use that same structure. Um, we want to focus on doing yes and no questions at this moment. So let me ask you the following question. Did you used to listen to rock music? Okay. Did you, I'm going to say, did you play sports in high school? There we go. Now, let me talk about creating WH questions. As you can see, that's the one at the bottom. Um, I mentioned that WH questions, we use this kind of questions to ask for information. And we'll borrow the example, we'll borrow that question that you see there. What sport did you use to play? So let me go ahead and write that down. What um, sports did you use to play? Sometimes we're going to have a compliment, sometimes we're not. In this case, we don't have a compliment. But uh, what sports? That's the WH word. That follows auxiliary did. And then after that, we're going to have a subject. After that, we're going to have used to. Notice that used to is in the present. And that follows the verb in its present form. Then sometimes you're going to have a compliment, sometimes you're not. So let me write a couple of more questions here so that you can get the hang of it. What uh, video games did you use to play when you were a kid? Okay, that'll be another one. So what 
video games, that will be my WH word. It follows the etc. did. Subject is you. Used to. And the verb in its present form. And then whatever complement. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice making questions. You're going to make Okay, so as you see, we're talking about use to. And first of all, what we need to know about use to is that we use it. We're talking about um, past habits, those things that we used to do regularly in the past. So for example, when we were little kids, we used to have some different habits. And in order to express those, we use use to. So the the structure for making a sentence using use to would be, first of all, use a subject, then add use to, then you need a verb in the base form. And after that, we only add a complement. I have a question. Tell me. How to, oh, how the pronunciation in the past they used to, used to, no sé cómo pronunciarlo. Used. used to. Used. So, yeah, in the present it would be used to, used to. In the past, used, used to. Used, used. okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so let's make some examples. Like I used to visit my grandma every Sunday. I used to visit my grandma every Sunday. So that means that I used to do it when I was little or where at any point in the past, but now I don't do it anymore. And then let's make another, another example. She used to eat a lot of candy. She used to eat a lot of candy. That means that she did that in the past or used to do that in the past. Now she doesn't do it anymore. Help me with another example, please. Uh, pandemia, I used to work in, in home. During the pandemic, okay, pandemic, I used to work at home. That's a good but example. Now, okay. But now I, I have to go to the office. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Tell me another example, please. I used to work every day. Mm -hmm. Very good. Another okay. one. I used to play soccer on Sunday. Right. Any other example? When I was a child. The life used to be easy. Life used to be easy. Okay. Great. Any other example that you have over there? No more. Okay, so I needed to just notice that we always use used to, even for the third person, it doesn't change, right? So I say I used to and she used to. And then when using 
um, the affirmative sentences, we need to use this in the past, used. Used to because, um, well, tomorrow we are going to review the, the negative and also the questions. And for the questions in negative, we use um, the, the base form, right? Used to, right? Because we're using an auxiliary. But for the affirmative, we add D and we say used to. And that's pretty much it. So remember that we use used to. We're talking about past habits, things that used to be true in the past. Now they are not true anymore. Any questions, any comments, any doubts? Maybe not. Okay, so that will be all for today's class. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care and have a good night. Good night. Uh, good, good night, night. Good night, everyone. Good, good night. You.